Alright guys, welcome to episode 16 of my horror movie reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing Staunton Hill. This is, was brought out in 2009, directed by Cameron Romero. And yes, you're hearing me properly. I said Romero, this is his son. Um, produced by Christopher Lombardo. Written by David Roundtree. The cast is Kathy Lamkin as Louise Staunton, the mom. Um, Sherry Weston plays Geraldine Staunton, Staunton the grandma. Um, BJ Hendricks plays Buddy, who's the son. And David Roundtree also stars in this. Um, and he plays the character Cole. And it's set in the fall of 1969, although you you can't really... So it doesn't look really old-fashioned, um, apart from the cars and um, stuff like that. It starts off, there's a group of um, young adults that are hitchhiking to a rally in, in Washington DC and they're on this old um, road that's like, um, that goes through the middle of the, this forest and they're hitchhiking and they can't seem to get anybody to pick them up and they end up coming across an old garage that fixes cars and they go and see the garage owner but he's racist and there's um, a black um, couple in this group and when they go to ask him see if he can get him a lift um, he's racist to the black couple and so they don't manage to get a lift off him but then there's a, another guy that's at this garage um, I think he's having his car fixed and he says well I'm going that way I'll take you but he looks really he doesn't look trustworthy um, to me anyway I, I, I figured out that he weren't really trustworthy so they get a lift off him and they're driving along this long stretch of road and the car ends up breaking down well it's like a pickup truck an old pickup truck it breaks down um, so the group are deciding to carry on walking across along this road but the driver talks them into walking through the walking through the woods to another road where there'll be more cars he says you won't get nobody picking you up on this road nobody uses it no more there's a new highway I'll take you there so they walk through these woods and he heads towards an old farm and they go to this old farm and they're having a look around and nobody seems to be in but um, the driver disappears he, he says oh, I'm going for a wee or whatever and he disappears and he goes in the house and he's talking to somebody in the house it doesn't show you but he's obviously saying yeah I've brought him here um, and he pays the woman uh, pays whoever it is and you can't really see him off camera but he pays the person some money so he, he comes back out and round and they don't see him then he comes out and he says nobody's in I can't get into the building but there's a barn at the back of what I've seen we can stay in there for tonight because it looks like there's going to be a storm because the storm's brewing so he takes them into this um, barn and they end up staying there the night and then they wake up to um, loud banging they go outside and a guy's hammering stakes into the ground making a fence and this is Buddy the son of the family that lived there and he's kind of kind of deformed um, he's got really bad scars on his face and he's also really childlike he's, he, he's a young man but he's also really really childlike and dumb and they go up to talk to him and Cole, um, David Roundtree's character goes to talk to him and Buddy hits him in the face with a shovel and breaks his nose and the fight ensues between the group and this Buddy guy and um, then the mother comes, who's Kathy Lampkin's character, um, who plays the mom. And she's also the fat woman in Texas Chainsaw Massacre remakes, who's in the trailer, the, the tea lady in the trailer. Um, and she she seems nice at first, but you know that she's not. Um, and she ends up talking them in, in stain for a bit, because there's no... Um, no vehicles, they haven't got no vehicles and the phone lines have been down through the storm she says so come for breakfast and we'll sort something out so they all have breakfast and then they they go and they're all waiting around 
and then Buddy starts picking them off one by one, killing them. And he gets one of the characters first, and he ties her up on like um, it looks like an operating theatre um, table, but it's really grimy and that. And um, he slits her throat. It shows you that loads of blood spraying out. He chops her hands and feet off. Chops her into little bits, really. And then he goes and feeds the carcass to his pigs. Well, as he's feeding them to the pigs, one of the other group, one of the others in the group, sees him do this. So a panic ensues, and they try getting out. And then they're picked off one by one by the family. Um, Sherry Weston, who plays Geraldine Staunton, the grandma, she's in like this mechanical wheelchair, battery-powered wheelchair, and it's really old wheelchair, and it's got like um, deer horns on the back of the seat. It looks really freaky and weird, and she really reminded me of the mom in Mother's Day. They've definitely took um, little things from that to make her look like it, and she's she goes around with a cattle prod. She drives around in this wheelchair, and she she looks really she looks armless but horrible and she electrocutes um a couple of the um the gang that are there the couple a couple of the group um another one is where the black couple are walking up to the mom um louise staunton and they're talking just about to talk to her and say we're on our way we're gonna get on our way and she pulls a shotgun out and shoots um the black guy's leg off um, a little bit of poor CGI, but it's only for a couple of seconds. You just see the leg come off. You don't see no CGI blood or anything. Just, just the bottom of the, his leg blows off, um, which I didn't really like. But it was only for a, like a maximum a second. Blinking, you'd miss it. So it's not so bad. Um, and eventually, the it comes to where there's two characters left, and they escape, but one of the characters starts fighting with Buddy um, Cole who's played by David Roundtree starts fighting with Buddy and Buddy beats him to the floor and then the grandma comes with the cattle prod and electrocutes him to death um, and then the one of the, one of the um, group gets away but a little thing happens at the end a little twist I know this has had loads and loads of bad reviews and to be honest I thought it was alright it's not brilliant and it's nothing that we haven't seen before it's the same hillbilly family um, running the farm that kills the city folk really um, it's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre rip off and as you know Kathy Lampkin starred in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake so it is a bit of a rip off um, but still enjoyable I enjoyed it the characters um, well the, the actors did well they weren't bad actors um, and I just think people see the Romero name and think high standards straight away and they think oh it's got to be brilliant and if it isn't then it's crap and I think they should just give him a chance I'm looking forward to see what, seeing what Cameron Romero comes up with next because it was quite enjoyable it weren't brilliant and it's nothing that we hadn't seen before um, there was a nice little reference to Night of the Living Dead in it when the driver's driving there's a girl sat in the pickup with him and he asks her to see if he's seen Night of the Living Dead um, which I thought was a nice little nod to his dad but yeah um, all around it's not bad it's quite enjoyable it's not brilliant but I just wish people would give Cameron Romero a chance instead of just thinking oh is George A. Romero's son so we expect him to be as good as George A. Romero so all in all it's not a bad film as I would recommend it but it's, as, as, I said, as, as I've said before in this um, review it's nothing new and it's, it's pretty gory though it's got some good gore scenes in it yeah apart from that I, I would recommend it it's not brilliant so thanks guys and look out for episode, episode 17 thanks